Good morning, good morning. It is September 17th in the United States. <laughs> this energy is going to be for the next couple days because that's how it works. But for some people, you know, it can come in today. It could have already came in. However, however, it goes down for you. Okay, we're going to start raw loves tomorrow. I got way too much going on today that I completely spaced. Okay, so let's see what we're looking at, my little goof troops. Let's see what we're looking at. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that. I, I don't even know I'm putting it back, but um, because I didn't feel or hear it flip, but it was the only one, so that might bound that might be bound to come back out but we shall see we shall see troops we shall see everybody now take my hand i'm not afraid that song was just on the radio so i don't know if there's going to be some type of whoa too many some type of storm we shall see. We shall see what we get. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I need I need some jazz in my life. I miss jazz music. We have the Princess of Pants. She came out yesterday. Isn't she gorgeous? She's going on an adventure. Um, it reminds me of Teletubbies. <laughs> Look at the sun coming up for those who are familiar. With Teletubbies in the corner. Um, you could be doing a little four people. A Taurus Virgo Capricorn. To me, she laid the weight down when it comes to something. And this reminds me it's spring, right? But fall, because she's holding wheat. Um, but she's definitely traveling. This could be, you know, just energy. Or it could be <clears throat> vacation or travel. She's, I, I just, she's traveling. I don't know what that's about. But you could be <clears throat> just a day trip. You're going to have fun. Whatever it is. Whatever this is pertaining to. You got the king of cups. So you got somebody here who's got a lot of love. And, you know, the king of cups to me is somebody that's in love um he's got one foot in one foot out you know the ships are behind him the so there's something here he's not he's not blinded he doesn't have a blindfold on he knows the truth of a situation whatever this is talking about um so th that's here <clears throat> this could be your boss and they could be married and they're in love or this could be somebody who's in love with you or this could be someone that you love um pisces cancer scorpio and it's ironic i always look at the king of cups as a pisces even though in traditional tarot it's a scorpio but from day one i've been saying pisces and i'm not going to change it i confuse the shit out of spirit <clears throat> you know so that is what that is. <clears throat> so, what else? Let's turn it off. It's both happy energy. I feel like this one feels restricted. I don't know what that's about. Because one foot in, one foot out, you know? Feminine energy seems solid. The masculine can be solid as well, obviously, right? Could be dealing with a Leo, but this is someone that's about to get themselves out of toxicity, got themselves out of toxicity, somebody who's compassion, compassionate, somebody who... This person might think something's destined just with the infinity sign being there. Or this person's trying to figure out how to be compassionate. 
Oh, they're already compassionate. Going through some type of ordeal. Thinking about how to get themselves out of some type of ordeal. Or her. How do I get myself out of some type of ordeal? But what this is also telling me too, right? Is that someone's older and someone's younger. And we have the Six of Pence with the Princess of Swords. The Six of Pence sometimes talks about, <clears throat> you know, gifts from spirit, definitely balancing out a situation. And now we have the Princess of Swords. I don't think, okay, but don't quote me. I'm not positive. But I got to really, really, really um, look at this. You got this one gentleman sandwiched in between two women. Okay, this is not like a, a rendezvous. This is someone needs to balance the scares out. So it's almost like they got a fire sign or they're ready to go. Okay, this is the same princess. So. What this is telling me is that there, there's some type of healing that's needed because we have somebody, we have a gentleman in the middle. Could be a Leo Pisces squat. You have a woman that is in Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This looks like somebody's off and going. First card out off and going there's the masculine energy it looks like how do I how do I get to something some how do I balance out the scales how, where's the synergy right it looks synergetic but like she cut something out or he's thinking she's going to cut this out Whatever the Six of Pence is regarding. Hold on, because this is all over the place. So whatever this is regarding, he thinks she's going to cut it out or she's going to cut it out. Or she already cut a Leo Pisces Scorpio out. So she could regain her balance. So let's clarify. I'm going to start with the Six of Pence. Because this will tell us, give us more of a definitive answer. You do have temperance on the board with, with death right here and the ace of pence under there. So there is a, a massive transformation. But to me, this is healing angels involved. Um, two of pence wanted to pop out. But tell me about the six of pence. Juggling thoughts, life, love, just juggling in general. So we have the four of pence. That also talks about stability, but it also talks about holding on to something. So somebody's, somebody's still holding on. So they're not really giving me a definitive answer. Okay. Um, it looks like there's an empress in this situation and somebody's stressed out when it comes to the empress. Because somebody possibly might want a new stat, but tell me about the princess of pence, please. What's she up to? What's this all about? This is an offer. This is doing something new, a new study, a new job. She's the queen of pence. Okay. So you could be dealing the feminine energy could be Taurus. Um, definitely Taurus Virgo Capricorn is, is, is strong right now. So this one could just be focused on work, um, stability, foundation, but to come in as the queen of pence, this is somebody who's very nurturing. This is somebody who has their shit together. This is somebody that can pay their own bills. This is somebody that is extremely beautiful, smart, seductive, all, 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 all sorts, all sorts of shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pot, shimmy, shimmy, yeah. I don't even think I said that right. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so I don't know what that's about. That was way old school. Tell me about the king of cups. So you have somebody that wants to go, it's not even, I want to go on an adventure. She's already on an adventure. She, she's working hard. She's taking care of whatever. She could be dealing with a daughter, but I, this is the same person. So she's already an adult. She's a queen, 
okay, but she's coming in as a um, as a page because it's something new. It's fresh. Tell me about the can of cups. So either she's thinking about him or vice versa. So now here comes the four of cups. Okay, so now this is an offer. But this is a an offer from the universe. So he knows, he knows, that's got to be a song. He knows this is a universal offering. So it's almost like he knows that whole destiny thing. Whatever this, whatever I was feeling here when it came to something faded, he knows and it's like, I got a cup, how do I offer it? You know what I mean? Like, will she take it? Will he not take it? Maybe she offered. It's a universal offering. But somebody's looking at, like, sorrow. Someone's not happy, go lucky about the situation. Tell me about strength. So she's got an offer coming her way. Because that's connected. If she would have gave the offer... You know, it's it's vice versa. Who knows? Three of ones. There's those ships I was talking about. Somebody could be at a distance. Um, there could be a third party situation. But to me, like the the ships are here. See how he's got a ship in the back of his too. The ships are here. The offers here. It is 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 coming in. Somebody offered something, or vice versa, or the offers coming. But there's still a situation where it's kind of like, hold on, this is patience. It's not so much of a wait. Someone could be at a distance. Could be travel involved. She is my card of foreign countries. <clears throat> Tell me about the Princess of Swords. Someone's not seeing the truth in a situation yet, though. But somebody knows the truth of a situation. Ah, tricky, tricky, tricky. And we got the ton of pence. See? So it's like, it looks like she cut out, she she put the weight down. It's almost like something was balanced, almost like a gift from the universe that she cut out because it's, it's too much weight. So technically, nobody's really holding on. Tell me about the four of pence. Because she laid the weight. That was reversed. So she laid the weight down. So she cut she cut something out. Maybe because it had no balance. Maybe because there was no synergy. Not the synergy she was looking for. Possibly. Yeah, see, she's... <clears throat> This is also a universal gift because the universe is here. This is a gift when this comes out with this. There's some type of gift and it could be this person or this person or you're a gift to each other. There's the sun again. Could be dealing with a, a Leo, Aries, Aquarius, Cusper. Oh, this is, you got Aquarius in the first house, something like that. So to me, this isn't a weight. There's, there seems to be something with distance. You either distanced each other from me. There's either distance between each other, physically, emotionally, or mileage-wise. Got the six of cups here, though. Like in this reverse of so, something, someone's coming back around. It's only a matter of time. Tell me about this three of wands. What's this three of wands about? I mean, there could possibly be a third party between a Leo, Aries, and a Taurus. Or a Gemini. There's that new stat. But there's there's some type of deception here. It's as clear as day. Somebody can't dedicate with the time of the time of pens. The King of Pens here reverse. Somebody can't dedicate enough time to a situation yet. But this is all the same woman. So if the third party's here, it's not really even talking about. She's not in the equation right now. His focus is on her. He wants a new start. He wants to take a leap of faith. He needs to figure out how to lay the weight down. He he needs to cut something out. He also needs to, I think, take on the energy of the divine, the yin and the yang. 
needs to balance out that type of energy too. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Oh, she's not even the Queen, but yeah, see, so he needs to cut something out or she cut something out. Looks like it's probably a third party. Somebody's not opening up. Somebody's not telling somebody how they feel about a situation. Something, this one, so the feminine energy actually wrapped something up. And it would have been a third party scenario if there's a third party here. Others of you, this is regarding work and you just started a new job and I don't know if you had a, a pay cut or do I do it, do I not, you got to travel. Regardless, it's going to turn you into the queen of pence. Like the money is going to stop flowing. The universe is going to bring it to you. Your ships are here. It's, it's time for you to have a new start because you chose to lay the weight down. Because this is everyday weight. But you still manage to, to put it, to lay it to rest. Some of it. Because it was reversed. Tell me about this Princess of Pence real quick. And then we're going to wrap this up. So, there's a new start. You do have to take uh, a leap of faith if you want this to happen. Tell me about the Princess of Pence. There is... There is love. Nine of Cups just came out, but it came out with something else. Princess of Pence, please. And it's the Eight of Cups. So it looks like she walked away from him. She wasn't completely fulfilled. She was still fulfilled. But so when this offer comes around, it, it is going to be even difficult for her. Why? Because the three cups, see the five cups, there's, there's five cups, there's nothing petty, walking away from pettiness, walking away from a third party possibly, from sorrow. This is somebody who is, is still happy, right? You got all these cups, none of them are down, there's still eight cups, that's, that's happiness, somebody made you happy, clearly, right? But it's missing two cups, and the queen of pence would seek fulfillment. She wouldn't mess with anything but the best. Not when you become the queen of pence. So it looks like she walked away from him. From the king. So he, you know, there could have been a new start. Or he's thinking, how do I create a new start? It's the king of cups want. wants the happiness back I don't think it's regarding a third party there could be one but that's not what this is tell me about the three of cups he just wants he wants the happiness back uh, no see he's he's juggling he's got to make decisions it looks like he might you know in order for him to go in a new direction it, it's almost like he feels he stabbed somebody in the back so that would be whoever's exterior to him So he looks like there might be a third party. Because the Queen of Pence and the and the Princess of Pence is the same woman. And so wasn't this one. But there's a third party. Now again, if you guys are not in a third party, it's just exterior energy when it comes to work, friends, family, somebody poking their nose in something. So he's got a decision now because she walked away from him. And he, coming up as the king of cups, king of cups got a lot of love. So because if he didn't want to partake in any of this, all this wouldn't be here and it would have been reversed and it, different cards would have came out. So he's in a pickle. He's in a pickle jar, and the pickle jar is, is shut right now. His main focus is one woman, not two, one. But he also knows someone's going to be hurt in the process. But he's solely focused on taking a leap of faith right now. But he hasn't figured out the, like, not the analytics, but, like, details. But that's not the word I'm looking for either. 
I feel like he's still going to feel restricted some way, somehow. It hasn't come up yet. There's no restriction here, but... Well, if there's a third party, obviously there's a restriction, but mainly solely focused on one person, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, somebody who's in Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. So it looks like you could have walked away and now somebody wants a new stat, or you wanted the new stat and you didn't get it, so you walked away, however it pans out for you. Because I don't really see worry, but it does take strength to, to have a new stat, a leap of faith. So there, there's some type of hesitation. But actually, this song I was singing in the beginning because it just came back to me. I'm not afraid to take a stand, everybody. But that could be her too. I don't know. This is not being afraid anymore. It takes strength. There's fear. But there's more compassion than fear. That's strength. Um, just tell me about the strength real quick. The nine of pet the nine of swords wanted to pop out. So stressed out. That already came out with something though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, somebody found their happiness, but they <clears throat> they want to message somebody. They want to message the Princess of Wands. But once again, this is somebody. It's the same person. <clears throat> it's trying to figure out how to message, how to, how to start something new. Is it dreams, wishes coming true, a new journey, happiness? Yeah, but the Nine of Cups is, is closed off sometimes. Yeah, there could be a lover. Right, but it's like this person's still coming out. They they still want to take this adventure, but once again, it's like juggling their thoughts. Somebody has to the tower has to come in. But this nine of cups, let's find out if it's somebody who's closed off, stopped communication. Like it's it's strength to continue this journey with this Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And even if you're not a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, it's, it's what you're in now. Okay. Yeah, closed off. But it looks like being the Queen of Swords here could be closed off. This could be the wife. Worried about hurting someone. See, this is it's, it's tricky. Because this is definitely... This is the other one. This is the wife. No, it's not the wife. Holy shit. Mamas, you are coming in sh fucking fierce. Holy shit. You're going to cut out what no longer serves you. If you ask me, it's like you already chopped something out. Because he's not even thinking about his wife if he has one right now. He knows it will cause pain, but his main focus is you. But if that's the case, that's telling me that my women are being a. You're being a bit petty. I don't know what that's about. I think you're guarded. But. You're guarded. This person would have to break down barriers. And I think that's why they're coming in as the King of Cups. Gentle. Right now, you guys' relationship is, is, is... He knows it's going to take water. Which is all about your emotions. 
So he's figured that out. But my women are you're guarded. I mean, massively guarded. Because you're being a little petty. But damn, you got a lot of love for someone too. Unconditional life, family life, unconditional love, family life, happiness. Tell me about the five of cups. You're you're holding on to something or or you're not letting go until he cuts something petty out of his life. But I don't see it like that. I, I see you holding on to something. Tell me about the five of cups. I had a couple reversed in there. Five of cups, five of cups. So you guys are going to weather some type of storm. Yeah, queen of cups. See, it's almost like you met your match. We got two cancers right there, too, moving forward. But it's basically saying you need you need to have more compassion. You, you need to have more love. Light needs to be shedded on something. And I think you're just waiting for him to shed the light. But I don't see you waiting. I see you walked away. Because this is all the same woman. I mean, your energy. I'm surprised the Empress isn't out here. She was at the bottom of the deck. But you are the Empress. You're coming in every single suit. Pence, air. Well, you didn't come in. Yeah, you did. You came in as wands, too. You came in in every suit. You've mastered every suit. And like I said, the queen of pence, she's no joke. So you got this one energy that looks like it's going to take a leap of faith and have a new stat. Well, this is what you wanted and you didn't get and you walked away. If you haven't walked away yet, you will. Something will annoy you and you're going to walk away. But you're using every element right now. That's beautiful. But you are being a little bit of a hard ass. It, it's more, more or less your emotions are all over the place. Even though you're grounded, it's water. See, it's like your relationship is based on emotions, love, compassion, communication. But when you communicate, it's passionately. It's, it's beautiful. Because your, your relationship is based on water. If you were the queen and the king, it'd be all about communication. See, this is, it's just, it's a beautiful combo. It's, you guys will be in tune with each other's feelings. It's a very intuitive relationship if you guys were to take a leap of faith and have a new stat. All right, you know me, I can go and go and go and go. I love you guys so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to start doing the raw loves. Love you. Bye.